Let's go with the prediction right now. Looks like it does pay off. And look at the bandit, guys. Yo, what is up guys, Sergio Goblin here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, as you guys can see, I have this 2.6, really cheap and quick, uh, yeah, minor control cycle deck ready with the Bandit, with the Tornado, actually really solid offense as well, like with the Bandit as a pressure card. Of course, for example, if they don't have Zap or we outcycle their Zap, we can send in like, I don't know, let's say minor bet, something like this. And of course, like the Ice Wizard Tornado defense is definitely insane, like uh, with the help of the Ice Spirit. Some situations like Poison on defense, of course, like if they give us a lot of value, but mainly on offense, like for the chip damage and then barbell really solid in defense also could be used like uh, on offense like sending a barbell on offense let's say they ignore the barb still gets two hits so actually pretty fun deck to play with and definitely also a solid deck so i will be using it on leather actually i'm not that high on leather i still should push up a bit but i've been playing quite a lot of brawl stars recently so i didn't really have the time to play leather right now i'm already at like 5.7k in brawl stars let me know if you guys are yeah enjoying the game so far i should be getting my overlay soon and then i should also start doing some brawl stars videos maybe even some streams uh, here and there but i'm definitely pretty excited for that also guys regarding cr like the content for cr i have been thinking uh, about doing some new like some new yeah, type of content for my channel for example i used to do this is already like two years ago but i used to for example do clan wars where for example me like back then i think i was in like i don't know like um cloud gaming or maybe like hammer esports like really back in the day like two years ago or something and then we for example faced like one of the better like competitive teams back then for example right now i could do kind of like similar like for example five first five lineup like my team for example team liquid five uh, lineup or maybe even i could do something like this like for example with subscribers like me with four subscribers against uh maybe for example another pro with four subscribers or just me with four subscribers and then the other team also five subscribers stuff like that so let me know if you have uh, yeah any type of suggestions any type of uh, ideas if you like the idea of me bringing back like the clan war series probably should name it something else because right now there's actually yeah like the clan wars like in the game which wasn't uh, back then yet so that's why i called it clan wars like back then but let me know if you have any suggestions let me know if you like the idea but i would say let's just open to the first match guys i'll probably do like three or four matches depending like how well we do i definitely want to yeah yeah, push up a bit but as i said i've been uh, playing quite a bit of process lately so it looks like we did find the first match guys looks like we're facing akagami i'm not sure if i pronounced it right but let's give it a thumbs up and let's give it a good luck so we started with bets ice wizard tornado bandit next card is the barbell so I, I guess I would just start off with a bandit. Probably could have also started off passive with the ice wizard but i kind of feel like going aggressive um with this like quick cycle deck so let's see guys, he does go with the Ice Golem, I guess I can just go with Bats in the back, so Ice Golem doesn't tell us too much, could be for example, maybe a Hawk Rider Psycho deck, looks like he does have the better Ram, which kind of um, reminds me of Three Musketeers, um, but let's see, let's actually go with a Bar Pearl over here, the Ice Wizard should be able to slow it down a bit, and then with the help of the Bar Pearl and the Tower, we should be able to counter that. Uh, actually, it does connect to the tower, so knowing that he actually has the collector, we should be able to get a goblin gang off here. So there you go. Knowing that the goblin gang was in cycle, knowing that he just used the ice golem, the better ram, and then the collector, I actually went in for a miner and a poison, knowing that he will, yeah, for sure, like protect the collector. Some players actually tried to already, um, uh, some players actually already tried to predict like the miner onto the tower so there i was actually able to get a really nice um tornado ice spirit four elixir for yeah basically eight elixir there five elixir for the main horde and of course like three elixir for the miner of course we did take a little bit of damage but that's totally fine uh yeah looking at the left or his right side tower so let's actually send in a miner to the tower this time i'm not too worried about going with um Miners to the tower knowing that I still have my poison and then let's say he goes with his three musketeers like right now if I poison We can always go with like a tornado to uh, like one lane and then I can just cycle to poison knowing that this deck cycles so quick like 2.6 uh, average is ghost So it looks like he actually zaps the tower. So I think I might actually go in with um, uh, Barbarian still gets two hits by the way. So I might actually go in with ice spirit and a minor bets but let's see what he drops. So I think I will first go with uh, Tornado in case he goes. Okay, so let's split the bets. Okay, there are the Musketeers. So knowing that he just used the Zap, I kind of want to force... I'm not sure if he cycled back to Ice Golem yet. Didn't really pay attention to that. But I kind of want to um, force out the Ice Golem right now. So let's actually go with Poison. There's the Ice Golem. So the Miner will be able to get some chip damage. Not sure if he will support this with like a better M or something. Probably should have dropped my Poison a little bit lower. But I think that's fine. We won't take any damage. Any oak. Oh, I, mi I misplaced my Ice Wizard. Um, but let's see. Let's go with Bandit. He will probably go with his main horde again but let's see so let's actually go with a tornado let's then go with ice spirit again 
Um, okay, Ice Spirit still works out, I think. I kind of, yeah, still have to go with um, Ice Wizard. Maybe Ice Wizard wasn't that good, but anyways, it's fine, guys. We do defend the push, and of course, we dealt a lot of damage to the right side tower. So let's go with a Bandit to counter the Goblin Gang. Let's go with a Miner. Probably could have taken the Goblin Gang, but anyways, I want to, um, like, get some pressure going. So let's actually Tornado the Musketeers. Let's go with a Poison onto the tower and the Musketeers, making sure we do take out the tower. So I think the Musketeers should die to um, the tower again. Let's go with Ice Wizard. Let's actually go with... Um, Bets to distract and let's then go with a tornado so a tornado and then an ice spirit to the side so we should be able to defend the one even the time uh yeah will run out but anyways we would have been able to defend it as you guys saw so let's give him a good game give him a wall plate and let's give him a thumbs up so definitely a pretty good matchup for us there like with the help of the tornado and the um the Ice Spirit, like the Tornado Ice Spirit defense, like against, for example, the main horde was definitely really key, like especially in the beginning, but also like the Tornado and like the poison, like killing all the Musketeers and even at the end, like hitting the tower. Definitely a lot of value. So I would say let's just open to the second match, guys. Definitely a really nice match to start of the episode. And let's see what kind of match we get this time. So it looks like we're, uh, yeah, right away have the second match. So let's give it a thumbs up and let's give it a good luck. So we started with Poison, Bandit, uh, Miner, and Bet. So I'm not sure what to do with this starting hand. I guess I can. Yeah, maybe just split my bets in the back. Also doesn't tell too much about the deck. For example, on leather, like if I see bets, uh, sometimes even think about, let's say, like giant three musketeers. So let's see, he does go with minions in the back. So splitting his minions, I guess I can just go with my bandit, like into the lane of the two minions. I think the tower should be able to counter that fully, but it looks like he does go with his night witch. So night witch minions... Um, I will definitely go with a poison, like onto, onto the night witch, especially knowing that my... Bennett was still there, so let's actually go with a barbell off here to kill the Night Witch and also help kill the Valkyrie. So we are able to, yeah, counter the Night Witch completely. Valkyrie also will be able to die to the tower without taking any hits, like onto our tower. So let's go with the Ice Spirit, let's go with a Miner to, yeah, apply some pressure to hopefully get some chip damage. Looks like he actually, okay, again, I, I misclicked my um, Ice Wizard. Let's actually go with a barbell off here, guys, and then I need to save up for my Ice Spirit Tornado again. So let's go with a Tornado, let's then go with the Ice Spirit. Hopefully that's not... Too close okay so the ice spirit was able to jump but me misclicking the ice wizard definitely a really big mistake there not sure why but i've been already or i already misclicked my ice wizard twice uh luckily we don't take too much damage well i guess it's a lot of damage but luckily not uh like tower down or something so let's actually go with the bandit to counter the um, the miner ice Wizard is able to counter the the minions so it looks like we're facing giant double minions with the night witch probably triple spell i think he has look zap and then probably far oh no actually he has valkyrie as well i actually forgot about that so he has Valkyrie, Night Witch, Double Minions, Minor, Giant. So I guess he does have um, either Lock and then Zap and then like a big spell, for example, like Poison or Fireball. So let's see, guys. Um, I'm not sure if we're able to come back. I think we should be able to come back just because his de or his offense is definitely solid, but our defense is also pretty solid. So let's actually go in with a Barbell. Let's then go in with a Minor. And this time I will make sure to not misclick my eyes with guys. Actually, second game um, and second time like I'm misclicking. So let's see, he does go with his Night Witch to defend that. I guess I can just go with my Bandit into, in, uh, in the back. So it looks like he does prepare for, I think, a Fireball. No, it looks like he's actually preparing for his Miner. So let's actually go with a Tornado. Looks like he also has... Um, he has Arrows. He has Arrows, Lock. A really strange deck. Let's actually go with a Miner. Let's then go with probably another Bandit. Hopefully he will actually place his Valkyrie up high. This way, like, we can actually counter. Looks like he actually um, drops it down to the side. But I think the double uh, Bandit with the Bats actually is able to kill the Valkyrie. Bandit actually dashed into the tower. Is able to get two hits. And this is actually pretty close, guys. Let's go with Ice Wizard to the side. Um, probably end up Tornado. Yeah, the Miner right now. Let's go with Bats. Let's go with Ice Spirit. Let's see if we're able to cycle back to our... Tornado, let's go with Ice Wizard over here. Let's then go with a Tornado. Hopefully, we don't take the second hit. Okay, so it looks like we are, are able to um, avoid the Giant from getting the second hit. But that's actually so close, guys. And I think this is still a good game. Let's actually go with a Poison up high. Knowing that he just used the arrows, I'll actually go with bets like um, Offensive. Let's try to protect his Miner. Looks like he actually drops his to the side. So let's then go with a Bandit. Let's then go with an Ice Wizard. Hopefully the minions don't lock on, but I think the, one of the minions will lock on, and I think that's good game, guys. Especially because he has lock and cycle. Yeah, lock should be able to finish stuff, and that's really unfortunate, guys. Definitely well played on his part. Let's give him a good game. Let's give him a well played, and let's give him a thumbs up. Me misclicking the ice wizard in the beginning definitely cost us the game because, as you guys saw, like in the end, we were able to defend his pushes quite well, and his tower was down to 1037 HP, I believe. But I would say let's just open to the third match, guys. So let's search for the third match. Let's see if we found one right away. So unfortunately, we did lose that one. Looks like we're facing Octay. Let's give him a thumbs up, and let's give him a good luck. So we started with Tornado, um, Bandit, Ice Wizard, and Poison. So it looks like third time again we started with the Bandit. Usually with this deck, I think I would start off with a Bandit Aggressive. This time I'll actually let it tank for the Ice Spirit, and then I will go in uh, with the Bandit. 
So it looks like he actually sends in the collector. I will go with a miner and a poison. Hopefully he actually drops something for the collector. It looks like he didn't. So maybe it would have been better there for me to go um like directly to the collector but anyways i think it's fine just because we want to get the chip damage like eventually we need to yeah chip away his tower so we do bring down his tower to 2186 hp with the help of the bandit actually a lot of damage he actually says wow as well let's go with the be uh, bets in the back so his minions mega minion um pekka so not sure what kind of deck this is let's actually go with ice wizard in the back into the pekka making sure i don't misclick the ice wizard again guys do want to apologize for that by the way for um yeah, me making such a newbie mistake, but let's see, guys. So let's um, go with a bandit in the back. Let's see what he drops. He might actually have three musketeers. Yeah, there are the three musketeers. Let's actually go with a tornado. I think this is um, good enough. Let's then go with a barbell, like to make sure to kill everything, and then also pull back the Pekka a little bit. I think I still need to drop bats. Hopefully, he doesn't have Zap. If he does, I will just drop an Ice Spirit in case. Yeah, he does have the Zap. So I think the Ice Spirit was good. Probably the Pekka would have been able to get a hit if the Ice Spirit didn't like distract it for a bit and then also froze it. So I think that was, uh, yeah, good Ice Spirit on my part. Recognizing that most of the three Musketeer deck have a Zap, I actually, yeah, dropped the Ice Spirit just in case because I don't want to take any damage, of course. So let's actually go with a Miner to the tower um, and then a Poison. Not sure if he thinks I cycle back to Poison. Looks like he doesn't. He actually drops his Valkyrie, predicting my um like my miner like on the collector so we are able to get some chip damage again next time i will definitely switch up my miner placement because this time like it's the second time i've been dropping my miner on the back of the tower but let's see guys let's go with a bandit let's see what he drops he will probably go with his pekka in the back again because um that's what he did last time so it looks like he actually goes with his three much tears i guess i can go with a poison and i think i should be able to actually cycle back to my uh or with a tornado and i should be able to cycle back to my poison not sure if i should have gone for the tower or a little bit lower but i think it's fine so it looks like he actually goes with his um with his pekka i guess i can go with a tornado and then i can go with ice spirit and then i should be able to defend this let's go with bets uh, or let's go with a barbell let's cycle two bets and then with bets should be able to counter this even though he does have zap and cycle we are able to deal a lot of damage and of course like with the of the ice with uh, slowing it down and then also the tower so let's actually go with a miner let's then go with um uh with a bandit and i think okay so i guess i would just poison this side right now um and then i will focus on the left side because he will probably support the left side with like let's say minions or maybe like a mega min or something so it looks like he's actually going for the pekka let's actually go with a barbell right now let's then go with bed so it looks like he does go with his minions as well let's actually have the tornado ready let's go with the tornado right now let's go with the ice spirit looks like he will be able to defend the miner i think no looks like he doesn't catch the miner so the miner should be able to finish it off and anyways we did have the poison ready so let's give him a good game give him a wall plate and let's give him a thumbs up so definitely yeah pretty good matchup again for us with the help of the tornado and the poison we are able to yes yeah, stop the three musketeers quite easily looks like we do have a quest and actually pretty close to getting the mega lightning chest hsc should be yeah opening that up soon in like an episode only 55 remaining so definitely really nice i would say let's just open to the last match guys hopefully we're able to win this one that would be awesome three wins and one loss of course like that one loss kind of hurts because uh yeah the ice is like the misplacement but anyways we know that we pro probably would have been able to win that one if we didn't misclick the ice wizard there but let's give it a thumbs up and let's give it a good luck. So we start off with Bandit, we have Barbell, we have Bats, Tornado. Next card is the Ice Wizard. So again, I would just start off with a Bandit at the bridge. Not sure if this is too aggressive, but I actually, yeah, like applying pressure. So it looks like our opponent start, uh, responds with a Skarmie. I guess I can go with a Barbell and again, like he needs to respond to it. That's what I like about Barbell. It's kind of like a lock, but at the same time, also like a pressure card and actually deals damage. Like as you guys see, two hits of the Barbarian is able to deal more than, um, yeah, 400 or actually 400... 62 damage i believe so that's actually yeah quite a lot let's go with the ice wizard guys looks like he does go with his baby dragon so i will let the baby dragon lock onto the ice wizard and then i will go with bats to distract the inferno dragon looks like he also goes with his um balloon so he actually goes in with a freeze so let's actually go with a tornado and let's then go with a bandit to tank for the baby dragon so with the help of the tornado should be able to negate the balloon from getting hit looks like he does have again his carmy in cycle so let's actually go with a barbell for that let's then go with the ice spirit for the baby dragon unfortunately i didn't have it in cycle yet otherwise i could have tanked one hit of the baby dragon barbell is able to get some hits again and i think he doesn't have a zap because he actually froze the bets so i guess he doesn't have a zap in his deck or he didn't have it in cycle but i think i will go with a minor bets combination to the tower let's see what he has to drop uh like to respond to it so looks like he has a lumberjack and he has a poison so i don't think he has um i don't think he has a big spell so with this tornado i should be able to 
tornado the lumberjack without taking a hit i believe so let's see if we don't take any hit so as you see no we are able to tornado the lumberjack to the gang tower without taking a hit right now we just need to make sure to cycle back to the, um, the tornado asap because he will probably like recognize like i just used my tornado it's time to go in with a balloon so let's see what he drops i definitely want to um end up predicting his skarmy but i don't think he cycled back to it yet he used the lumberjack he used the poison inferno dragon so i'm pretty sure he still needs to drop one card for the skarmy so let's see if he goes with his baby dragon if he does so right now he should have the skarmy cycle so let's prepare the bar barrel let's go with the prediction right now looks like it does pay off and look at the bandit guys bennett is able to dash onto the tower miner is still there barbarian is there does bring down the tower to 360 hp he does go with a balloon um push so it looks like he does already freeze actually a really aggressive freeze over there let's go with a tornado let's go with the ice spirit to um yeah kite all of that he has poison lightning freeze what a strange deck let's go with bets over here guys let's go with a miner at the back of the tower and that was an awesome prediction guys probably end up uh yeah winning us the game let's see if we're able to take down the tower with the miner i think we are able to yeah miner is able to take down the tower let's go with ice spirit let's actually go with bets to surround the baby dragon let's see if we're able to apply some pressure let's go with bandit um let's then go with a barbell prediction again for the scar it looks like again it pays off guys unfortunately this time we don't hit all of the uh, skeletons but bennett is able to dash into the tower barbarian is still there i think he might actually be able to take down the tower knowing that he has end poison and lightning so i guess i will go with the ice wizard in the back and then try to cycle to um to a new bandit so let's go with ice spirit let's actually go with bats offensive let's then go okay looks like he uh, wasn't able to take it down of course like lightning is six elixir poison is uh, four elixir so 10 elixir in total to take down tower quite a lot of elixir but we were able to win the one actually a really strange deck on his part but definitely a really fun one to play against let's give him a good game let's give him a wall plate and let's give him a thumbs up so looks like we were able to win three matches we did unfortunately lose one but hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode as i said in the beginning of the video let me know if you guys have any suggestions for a future type of video if you guys like the idea of me bringing back the clan series maybe for example me against you guys like uh, me for subscribers stuff like that let me know in the comment section down below guys if you did enjoy this episode make sure to smack the like button if you're not subscribed to the channel feel free to subscribe and i'll see you in my next videos bye guys